We're learning new details about the failures that took place in Uvalde, a federal review of Border Patrol's missteps during that deadly school shooting. Natalie Haddad has been following this story from the very beginning. She's in our newsroom this morning with more. And Natalie, certainly you think about the details for parents, especially those in Uvalde, just hard to fathom some of these failures. Absolutely. It never gets easier to cover this story, and they are reliving this over and over again each time we see these investigations come out. But there are several takeaways from this new report to refresh anyone's memory. Border Patrol, who breached the classroom door and helped kill the shooter 77 minutes after they first entered the school, this report cir circulates around those uh, agents. Ultimately, this report says they were insufficiently trained to handle the crisis and were confused about who was supposed to be in charge. 188 Border Patrol agents responded to the shooting more than any other agency and this report found that none of those agents specifically violated any rules and no agents were disciplined. This report also reveals one of the most detailed accounts of what law enforcement saw when they first entered the classroom. Those details too graphic for us to tell you this morning. I did speak with Brett Cross who lost his son in the shooting yesterday. He says he is disappointed but not shocked that no disciplinary action is coming from this. Once again, it's very infuriating that we're like, oh, well, whoops, we may not have been up to snuff, but you know what? Next time we might be. No, that is just shirking responsibility. But what are you doing about to about May 24th? Absolutely nothing. Now, changes could be coming as a result. The report recommends better training for Border Patrol agents and a better understanding of their authority and non-federal incidents like this. Mark